I don't think Jim Till made too much effort to bend to pick that. I think he was quite happy to fall and hope for the free kick and got it and clears out to Justin Scanlon at halfback. Scanlon just kicking the ball forward to Dwayne Stewart. And Stewart playing his first game for the Red Legs. Lovely kick too, some 50 metres. Nice controlled kick. Fry trying to break through a pack. He can't. Lachlan gets it out. Thomas, centre half forward from the back. Reaching high there, it was Downs, he couldn't get it. Armat, who's Eddie Fry standing. Armat pierces the two big white goals. Norwood first on the board. Their one goal, Sturt yet. He will no doubt change on the half forward flank. Downs goes straight down the middle. Sims and Michael Lanny. Neagle, Turbel at centre half forward, run down by Pake. Ooh, then Butler coming in strongly against Pake. Turbul falls over again and gets another free kick, Bruce. When he feels the player behind him, he and he's an expert at it. That player coming in from behind, so you've got to be careful because you know he's going to go, so it's no good just running straight up behind him. You've got to be careful and control your run. He hasn't played for a couple of weeks, Robert. He looks very big at the moment, Turbul. I think he's put on some weight in that fortnight, but he hasn't lost his kicking ability. He's gold. Lord Captain puts Nord 2-1. Sturt yet to score. Downs. Good kick into the breeze too. Sims is under it. Michael Annie's on it. Lovely judgment by Jim Michael Annie. Sturt defence looking pretty good still, Bruce. They've certainly got a bit of dash back there and also a little bit of competitiveness as Thomas goes in towards full forward. Roberts from behind. The umpire didn't know what happened when all the players fell over. I don't think they knew quite what was going on. Neville Roberts was the one who had his eye on the ball. Tim Pake letting him get away on that occasion. A little bit loose. Neville Roberts, not renowned for missing too many. He kicks his first, Norwood's third. They're 3-2, leading Sturt, three goals. Neville Roberts, touched in flight. O'Dwyer meets the ball very well. Downs is evaded as O'Dwyer goes straight into the full forward area. A very good mark in there. Coming across, looks like our new sentiment to beat. Beautiful mark by the Nord player, just coming in today for his first game, Dwayne Stewart. Picked in the reserves on Thursday night for the first time. Friday morning into the league side. Danny Jenkins in Perth. Dwayne Stewart at the parade. He's missed it. It's a behind. Hollis is there, he knows Heinrich's back behind him and Philby not thinking that Hollis was going to be good enough, went across to back him up and he's kicked it straight to Graham Hughes. Stewart, all good grab, and plays on. Kicks the ball to the space. Greg Turville and Jim Derrington, the two 17s, and it will be a throw-in centre whip. Downs, comes to the wing, Wilson and Neagle. Hargraves puts the tackle on, Neagle's handball, a good one to Menzel. The Menzel kicks the ball towards centre half forward. Armat and Fry. O'Dwyer now will it sit? Oh, Downs is going to give away a free kick. As he went to swipe at the ball, he did it in a very round arm fashion when he went and he hit the ball and O'Dwyer coming through to get a run at the goal. Receives a hit around the head and receives the free kick right in front. O'Dwyer from the square has put it through. O'Dwyer's first goal today. He's kicked 1-1. One, one. Bruce Winter from full back. Player in the hands of the trainer up there, looks like Tom Warhurst. Bruce Winter stubbies the kick a little bit. Menzel with a bad handball, but Button's aware. Knocks it forward to Stewart. Stewart to Schmal. Teal, Neagle, doing what he loves most, just running on with the play and goes in short to Roberts. They'll kick it five metres to find Neville Roberts. That was only just covered the required distance, and Tom Warhurst. Looking a bit seedy, but OK. Neville Roberts, 45 metres. No, no alteration to the kicking style, no alteration to the direction. 5-8 Nord, Sturt 4-4. Four, four. Two goals to Roberts. He's a marvellous kick. That football by Nord was excellent there, coming through the centre. A series of handballs, Neagle providing the run when Till gave it off to him. He saw Roberts only about 15 metres away. Just chipped the drop punt. Roberts took it in his hands. Sims and Button. A bit of experience there. 500 games between them. 
Barbary gave it back to Derrington. Jim Till takes the mark. Had some injury problems this year. Short to Adler. And Adler quickly onto his boot. Michael Lanny in the front spot. Well, well done by Peter Reid. No, 15 metres. This umpire, Bruce, is, I don't think he's aware of what's going on with the ball. I mentioned in the first quarter, he's just a little bit lost, but that was a good kick by Michael Lanny to Turbel. A little bit of looseness there. Roberts put uh, Timmy Pate down behind the play. Now the umpire is going to get into a fight between two players. Eddie Fry not impressed with Neville Roberts' actions. Eddie Fry, he's letting the umpire know too. It's not going to help getting upset. It's Greg Turtle with the ball. 50 metres from goal. Kick, covering the distance. Hit the bottom of the post, I feel. No, it bounced outwards again. Bruce, that looked as though it hit something and came out. Might have been the umpire's foot. So it's a goal to Nord, 6-7 to 4-4. Neville Roberts brushing Tim Pake's head after that altercation as Button lays it off. A free kick to Gary Menzel. Nord looking all right at the moment. Bruce, they started off well and had a little bit of a lean patch, but this, in the start of this quarter when they... Looked as though they were in a bit of trouble, but not at the moment. They're working well. Off hands to Greg Thomas. He's besieged by players. Reed with a beautiful reflex. He's penalised. Umpire behind him. It's a magnificent bit of play. The only hope it might have open handed it, but it looked pretty good to me. Stewart. O'Dwyer. And Norda might have had a bit of luck there. Peter Reed, I don't think he was too happy. That was a magnificent bit of play. Robert Nord playing the short game well at the moment. Just punching the ball into attack with little 30 metre kicks to players. Yeah, they're confident to look for each other. Good on them for it. Oh, Dwight, that's a lovely kick. Magnificent goal. Well, this is a good performance by Nord at the moment. Oh, Dwyer has kicked two, and it's 7 7 to 4 4. Painters worked very hard today, Robert. Sure has. It's a high kick around his body. Schmal's underneath it. Kept his eye on the ball. No free kick. Wilson. Oh, Schmal just shrugged it off and gave it to Greg Thomas. Greg Thomas with a high floater. That's going to be hard to mark. Roberts has. Bumble mark. Well, Ray Wilson did a handball then. Craig Barber, and he wasn't even looking. Schmal snaffled it up. Way he went. In the full forward, he's in the hands of the right man. Roberts from 40 metres out. Just doesn't miss. Three goals to Neville Roberts. Nord have doubled Sturt score. It's 8 8 to 4 4. Neil Button and Peter Hargrave. Number 30 and number 26. Kick forward by Lachlan to Scanlon. He's got another chance. He's playing on this time to Albie Menzel. He's gone. A little bit too much juice. Is that little short kick again? Timmy Pate, you know they're going to play it, my boy. He's in trouble, isn't he? Neville Roberts working hard. He's working across half forward. He's running back into the goal square. And then he's coming out as the kick comes in. And he's there to accept that short kick. And Tim Pake has got to try to maintain his concentration because he, like everybody else, knows what a wonderful kick this man is within 30 metres. And there she blows again. Number four to Neville Roberts, number nine to Norwood, nine eight to the Red Legs, ten six to the Blues. Yes, Neagles kicked to Roberts in the second term, oh. I think it was about the same distance. Roberts Golding, of course, from that. Dwyer started at full forward, was forced to go to full back when Moorhurst went off injured. Very short to Hughes. Graham cribs over the mark a little. <laughs> and Hughes kicks the ball to half back. Barbary takes a fly. John Gallagher. Paul Adler. The ball will tie the ball as a boundary line. Armat well read. And Joe Armat takes the mark. Gallagher runs on, playing on the centre wing. They put him on to Ray Wilson. He goes into the full court area. Walker gives it to Roberts. It's a give me goal for Neville Roberts. She just back scores it through. And Neville Roberts kicks his fifth goal. Lord get their tenth. 10-9 to 11-6. And the game, still nothing in it. Nick Walker getting his chance when Tom Moorhurst went off. 
just to handle that cleverly onto Roberts. Roberts' skills are fantastic. On the run then, from about 40 metres out, turned it into about 20 by the time he kicked the ball. Back screwy, and through it went. Five kicks for goal for Neville Roberts, and five goal. O'Dwyer Hughes, didn't gain much there, Nord. Button and Sims. Sims takes off early. Schmal. Menzel. He's had a quiet game, Menzel. To half forward. Roberts in the centre of the pack. Pate with him. Reed. This is where Sturt must hold up. Gary Ford has come on. Roberts. To Gallagher. Now Gallagher's got Menzel and he's also got Winter. Menzel's mark. Yes, Winter's uh, got his knee heavily banned. He's Robert. I don't think he'd be out there under normal circumstances. No, he's in a bit of trouble. Still. See the funny things happen with injured players. It's a stand there remarkable. Ivan Eckerman, a la grand final. Yes. Against the Bays. 77, I think. Gary yeah. Menzel, centre half forward. Drop punt. Oh, it's a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Menzel, who made the goal, said he had a quiet game, has kicked his first goal. And Norwood stay in touch, 11 9 to 12 7. But Gallagher. He's gone away a bit quicker. Touched off the boot by Reed. Greg Thomas at half forward now. He's been a goal kicking forward for Nord. Gary Menzel. It's a good kick to Gary Menzel. Nord running around the boundary line and Menzel finishing off three seconds. 12 10 now to 14 7. Hughes with a drop punt. Michael Annie and Hargraves. Greg Thomas read it beautifully. Yes, he is roving. One bounce. Neil Button. So strong, Button. Gary Ford. Neagle's got the pace, left foot, terrible on market, and the captain always properly all right. Brendan Howard though, he won't have to do anything if Brendan Howard plays 50 metres away from him. Brendan running across to back up then, and Turbo just standing in the middle of the ground, and this is what happens when you're standing a player who looks as though he's injured, it's okay. Once your team have got it in possession, but if the other team have got the ball, then you've got to watch him if he's just going to stand there and kick six goals in the forward pocket, doing nothing. Turbo's kick 3-1, and Nord is right back in business. It's 13-10 to 14-7. Jim Michael Lanny goes to set a half forward. Wilson and Greg Thomas. John Gallagher, left foot. Roberts waits back. Goal! Six to eight, the Redbirds in front. Reed and Michael Lanny. Pike, Hutton, uh, Matt and Peter, oh, uh, Matt's ball skills were good, one bounce, Pike will get him, but Roberts will take. Pike following up, but that's bad skill, Says the error play then of Russell Hutton, that did it. So Neville Roberts, 30 metres from goal. Kick number 12, Robert, he's... Goal has, number seven. Yes, he's kicked six, and this will make it level. It's level. Neville has made it level. Seven goals. So it's even, Stevens, and nothing favouring anybody, except a lot of hard work and a bit of skill as well. Maybe a bit of luck in the end as Gary Menzel goes to Greg Thomas. Thomas heading towards half forward. Front position, Jim Michael Annie. Menzel short, also Neagle. Neagle with a high one. O'Dwyer in the forward line. Roberts has got it. Looks like Gary Ford's on Roberts at the moment with Pate being taken away from him. I think that's ridiculous, Bruce. I think I can't understand that. I can't believe it, in fact, that it's been done because for all Tim Pake, the fact is Tim Pake has actually done some pretty good things. Seven goals, eight goals. Roberts has put Nord in front. But can he keep going? 16-10 to 15-10. And who's going to pick him up? I just wonder. Well, maybe Tim Pake is on him and Gary Ford was just left back there with him. No, Peter Reid's going on to him now. Yeah, Peter Reid's going to stand him and Tim Pake's going on to Jim Michael Lennon. Neville Roberts, eight goals, 40 goals for the season. He's missed two or three through injury. I wonder what 
Malcolm Greenslade's telling it. Like, it must be pretty exclusive information because he's, he's <laughs> never robbed us standing there having a lizard. 16-10, 15-10. Nord in front. Sims and Button. Zubernik. He waits for Hutton. Hutton's in trouble. Not quick enough getting the handball away. Thought he could drift back in between the two players. He should have given the handball as he was going through. Ford in front. Michael Annie from behind. So John Howard's made a move. He shifted Pate onto Michael Annie, and Michael Annie's immediately taken the mark. Aguirre on his own. And Michael Annie from half forward. Very high kick. Downs gets back into the front. Howard from the side. Downs smothered by Menzel. Kicked off the ground by Ford, or nearly kicked, then scooped forward to John Gallagher. Knocked on by Painter. Well done to Sims. Sims gives it out beautifully. Nice tackle by Roberts on Wilson, though. Michael Annie's tackled. Sims, Pate. Holding ball. Tim Pate's got completely rattled now. Maybe the change that's been made may rattle him, and it may be the turning point. This is, so it's easy to say, make a change, but don't get your team too rattled. John Gallagher. Will Stewart over the back, play on. Downs thought he marked that from the front spot, actually, then, Bruce. The umpire deciding that he wouldn't play it to either and bounce the ball. Sims. Michael Annie. Armat. Ooh, just missed. So behind, 16-11, 15-10. That was a gimme too, Bruce, with Armat's beautiful movement that he's got. He could have just walked away into that goal like Michael Graham does. You can see him run high in the air. Wilson, Gallagher recovers, holds his feet well. Shepherded then. <laughs> Gallagher Dwyer taking the mark. So Eddie Fry warming up on the boundary line. And Dwyer, who's played at full forward and full back today. He's kicked two goals, one. Eddie Fry getting ready. Things going Nord's way all of a sudden. He's got it. Three goals to O'Dwyer, and the red legs are coming back. Button, Sims, Graham, Barbary. We've been out road today, Sturt. Or two did it well. Lachlan, Neagle, Nord have found some run. Roberts wants it short. Gallagher, now Roberts will get it. Now, can he kick a goal? He's the best we've seen for a few years. He's unreal. <laughs> Number nine has kicked nine. So it's out of bounds on the half forward flank. Sturt's showing a little bit of panic at the moment. A smooth machine, she's not smooth. She's looking a little bit rough. Button thumped a little away. Zubernik. Hurried kick out of bounds on the full. Nord has kicked seven of the last eight goals in this game. Sturt led 14-7 to 11-10 at one stage in the third quarter. And since that moment, the Red Eggs have added seven out of the last eight. Screw punt. Michael Annie, Pate, thumped on by Button. Reed and Roberts. Roberts takes a dive. He's very clever though. Neagle. That's a magnificent kick by Neagle. It's got a chance, it's a goal! What a goal! Well, the Red Legs are certainly running now. That kick into the goal square. Favourable bounce, all done again by Neville Roberts. As he managed to fight for the ball with Peter Reid. Knocked the ball on. And Richard Neagle, doing his grand final special, on the left foot, lobbed it in front of the goal square. And he got the perfect off spinner, straight through the centre. And the red legs have bolted. Peter Reed. Reed to half forward with a wobbly one. Hollis from the front spot. Teal. Tackled again, but gets it away with sheer strength. Hughes with a prodigious kick. And two on one, Peter Reed. Justin Scanlon up there with Neville Roberts. So Roberts probably do his favourite short pass here to somebody who you least expect him to pass it to. Just at the last second. It's hard to tell, Bruce. You watch a bloke play. I can't believe that footballers can let that happen. He does it every time. He's as predictable as the day. And Philip Heinrich gets his run on the ball. 
just in time. I would have thought to nearly give a 15 metre penalty away as Gary Menzel takes the kick. 35 metres from goal, and I would say an opportunity to put the game beyond Sturt's ability at this stage. Menzel, two goals in that comeback for Nord in the third quarter. It's high. Not going to quite make it. Michael Lanny's got the mark. Is he tired, Bruce? Young Gary Menzel. He's really, you can hardly get the legs to swing then. And he certainly roved he and Greg Thomas to perfection in the second half. They've worked incredibly hard. So Michael Lanny from the goal square with a point alongside of his name puts it straight through. And the Red Legs look home after a tremendous struggle all day. They're 20 11 to Sturt 15 11. Well, Neville Roberts continues to be an enigma. He gets out on that half-forward flank, but on that occasion, Michael Graham's man was down there. That was Justin Scanlon. He snooked back into the, the, to the forward line to make two-on-one, so Peter Reid had to be opposed by both of them. And Neville Roberts took the mark and then just kicked the short kick across, and Albie Menzel then received the second one to kick the goal. And Nord are uh, all but home. 